And so I start crawling to the grass because I'm like, I just need to get to the cold grass. But I can't move my legs, so I'm like dragging my entire body with my elbows. And I finally get to the grass and I roll over and just look and the girl's completely gone. Hi, my name's LA Turtle 69 and this is the time I bled from my nipple holes high in ketamine. This is a cautionary tale, don't do what I did. So I was flying to Australia. I didn't really have any money at the time, a whole lot of money, so I decided to take the cheapest flight possible. And I had a 36 hour layover in Hawaii. So I went on my Instagram and I made a story that said, Hey, if you're in Honolulu, do you want to hang out? So this girl responded and she's like, yeah, you know, take an Uber and meet me here. So I met her at some like bar club and she's like, do you like to party? And I'm like, yeah, I've been to rehab like four times at this point in my life. Have you ever done ketamine? And I'm like, no. So I snort it. She snorts it. I'm not feeling anything like a couple minutes. I'm just kind of like standing there and I'm like, hey, like, can I like get some more? And she's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I end up snorting another line. And it's the middle of the day, so we go for a walk. And there's this pathway where all these people are rollerblading. And so we're just talking and everything, and all of a sudden, I started to feel the sun. Like, I could feel the heat in my eyes. And I'm trying to talk, but I can't focus because my legs are starting to turn into wet noodle jello. I realize that I'm on my knees, just on my knees, and I can't move my knees. They're, like, locked. So next thing I know, I'm in the middle of this path with these people, like, rollerblading and biking and I'm laying face down on the on the path and this girl's just standing next to me. All I can think about is how hot my eyeballs are. So I look over and I see a couple feet away from me there's the grass off this path and I'm like, if only I can just crawl over to the grass. And mind you, again, there's all these people rollerblading by me, just like seeing this guy face down on the ground and nobody's stopping. And so I start crawling to the grass because I'm like, I just need to get to the cold grass, but I can't move my legs. So I'm like dragging my entire body with my elbows. And I finally get to the grass and I roll over and just look and the girl's completely gone. And I look down and my entire shirt is just ripped in my, I can see like one of my nipples and I have like rips on my pants because I was just dragging my body and I'm bleeding and I have scrapes all down my thighs and my knees and my nipples. I looked at the time and it said 1214. I think the beach was probably, I don't know, maybe like 100 feet away. All I wanted to do was to get to the ocean. The next thing I know, I wake up and I'm completely just sunburned and red. I don't know how long I've been there for. And I look at my watch and it's still 12:15 p.m. Time isn't moving. I don't really know what's going on. I look over. This guy who I'm assuming was homeless, he's got like a water bottle and he's just sitting next to a tree and he's got like all of his stuff and a dog and everything. So he kind of looks over at me, probably thinking the same thing about me that I'm thinking about him like oh look at that guy and I'm like again I'm covered in blood and my shirts all ripped and I, I I don't even know at this point where my suitcase I have my suitcase with me at the restaurant when we left I, I make my way over to him and uh, I ask if I can have some and he says it's vodka in the water bottle and I'm like that's fine I kept looking at my watch and it said 1215 I was like freaking out having a panic attack because I'm like oh time stopped like I'm dead this must be the afterlife like am I now a dead person walking around and I will never be able to communicate with anybody else for the rest of my life. And the funny thing is I was so out of my mind that I forgot that this watch battery died like nine years ago and it's still dead right now. It says 12.15. I don't know how I ended up getting back to the airport or how I even got to Australia. So long story short, I went back to rehab three more times since then. And now I have seven months sober and I don't do ketamine anymore. Tales from the...